What's up Internet, IG here with another Linux app review and today we're going to be looking at XBMC, the media center that has uh, fairly recently uh, undergone a new release 11.0 which is codenamed Eden. <laughs> Now, XBMC, if you're not familiar, is much like Windows Media Center in that it's a, just a nice centralized with lots of cool graphics and it's basically just a way to present all of the uh, media and entertainment that you might have on your laptop. And it's also very nice if you have this uh, if you have this running on a computer that manages all your entertainment needs plugged into your TV and all that fun stuff. So that means that you can, uh, of course, play your music, your videos, your pictures, and you can plug in different widgets like weather, it displays all of the different news feeds scrolling along the bottom here, and it's very connected to the network and all of that fun stuff. So you can see you've got weather up the top here, time and date. You can really use this as an operating system in itself if you've got a if you've got a computer plugged into a TV and you want to just be able to uh, control everything using the remote. So, for instance, if we go into music, uh, you can see we've got the music folder here, and then you've just got all of your all of your um, all of your music folders that you've uh, entered in through the preferences, and then you can just start playing away at one of the uh, at one of the uh, one of the files, and then of course you've got visualizations that go in the back, and it's all extremely customizable. Uh, you've got all of your uh, options on the side here, depending on what skin you're using, which of course the XBMC Media Center is very skinnable and you can choose uh, how you want this thing to look. And we're going to have a look at that in a little bit as well. Uh, but you can see no matter where you are in the system, you've got this sidebar that can scroll out to see what you're now playing. And of course, you've got your playback controls and you've also got um, you can organize your playlists and all that fun stuff as well. Then going back to the home screen, you can see that you've got more options there, including the programs, which you can pretty much launch uh, applications or little mini applications inside XBMC, a lot of it being expandable through their website, which we're going to look at in a bit. Then you've got the settings, you've got the file manager, which is pretty much just like a very basic file manager here that would be very easy to navigate with a TV remote control. And it's also very easy to navigate with your keyboard. Uh, so then moving along to videos, again, depending on where you have your videos stored on your hard drive, you, you can see here that we've got a lot of different video codecs installed by default, depending on what you have installed on your machine. And, uh, and then of course the playback is very smooth and it's all uh, 3D graphics accelerated and it's very, very smooth with this latest release. Uh, then you've got the weather, which you can see we've got the, uh, the, we've got the weather forecast for the next couple of days and the temperature and all that fun stuff as well. Then we've got a playlist that, uh, that can pop up on the side here that you can add things to as you go along. And then of course you've got your pictures folder as well. And you can see here I've added some folders here from Canon and uh, from my Canon 2012 folder and you can easily add a source there and play slideshows depending on what you want to do. And there's very nice fading effects in between so that it behaves quite nicely. Overall, the, the recent release of XBMC has, has really come a long way as, in terms of performance. Uh, it looks very nice indeed. Uh, you really can't fault it when it comes to an open source application and it would be perfect in the lounge room setup. So I definitely recommend checking it out. It is in the default Ubuntu repositories for all of you running Ubuntu. For the rest of you, there are, there are XBMC packages out there for literally any distribution on the planet. Uh, and of course, if you are fiddly enough, you can install it from source code. But for what we will do at the moment is we will uh, exit the application here and you can see we've also got options here to control the computer itself which is again geared towards those that have this uh, used as their as their main operating system for computers plugged into their TVs. So if we exit that and we go to the uh, XBMC website, you can see here we've got different uh, skins that you can use to customize the look of the application, which is pretty snazzy. And then you've also got plugins and scripts. And at the moment, this uh, site is still under construction, so there uh, you can find the latest plugins in XBMC by visiting the add-ons browser inside the settings screen, which we may as well have a look at. So if we go into system and then settings, and then if we go to add-ons, and we go into get add-ons. You can see here that we've got a bunch of fantastic add-ons here, including TV information, video add-ons, subtitles, and all sorts of other fun stuff that's downloadable. Uh, that's all very easy to bolt on and expand XBMC's functionality. It's very, very nice indeed. They also have some really interesting stuff going on with their, uh, with their remote control uh, functionality. So for instance, for certain iOS devices, they do have the capability of plugging in with uh, your iPad and using it as like a remote or mirroring what is going on 
on your TV via the HDMI out. They've got a lot of interesting development stuff going on here. So definitely check out XBMC Media Center. Definitely a one-stop shop when it comes to media centers. So give the video a thumbs up if indeed you liked it and check out the rest of my channel if you like these kind of videos and I shall catch you in the very near future with another distro review. But until then, peace out.